up everyone this is Draco Evolve back yet again with some latest Manchester United transfer news and speculation today and before we get started as you can see I've got a bit of a new feature going on you got some social media activity going down down there you got my social media links so give me a follow especially on Twitter hit me up on Twitter and you know we'll start to get a conversation running uh, outside of YouTube as well and also the camera quality is much better I've, I've actually connected to my main main camera so now you should be able to see my face my beautiful face in crisp quality but before we get started as always I start these videos with uh, two topics to talk about. I know it's Bruno Fernandes yet again, Bruno Fernandes update and Harry Maguire update. But before we get started, you know me, I always pick a comment from the last upload and I discuss it. So today's comment comes from Red Devil Studio in regards to my yesterday's video around Harry Maguire. He says, Good signing, but not sure on the feet, in my opinion. And thank you for the comment first and foremost. So let's dive straight into your comment. In my opinion, it is a very good signing given the circumstances and the market that we are currently in and in my opinion the fee, fee is okay you know you're paying a British tax it's as simple as that if he was Dutch Italian or any other player then I think he'll be like 40 million pound tops but because you are paying for the experience of premiership and the British tax system you know how it works it's added an extra 10 20 even 30 million pound on top in regards to Harry Maguire's case yesterday all the reports were saying that it is a 60 million pound up front with 20 million pound add-ons which is a fair deal because the add-ons will definitely contribute towards whether we get win the premiership or you know whether we get into Champions League etc etc we won't know the details yet or if it is true until reports uh, well proper details you know come out uh, you know uh, as soon as but this is my opinion around this particular signing but anyway thank you so much for the comments moving on to the two main topics 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 first up i know it's been a bit boring it's getting frustrated bruno fernandez bruno fernandez oh my god what is happening with this guy so we all know for sure that we are interested in him but there's been some reports coming out today again take it how you like it's not a legit source or it's not 100 percent source but reports are stating that and it is from the independent that 50 million pound will net us bruno fernandez let's read the article right then we can discuss it so in the article it says manchester united will go in with a concrete bid for sporting's bruno fernandez over the next three weeks as manager oligana social looks to reshape his midfield the portuguese club have already rebuffed approaches from old traffic from the for the 24 year old now considered one of the most exciting attacking midfielders in europe the feelings from united still that they can prize fernandez away although they will likely have have to bid well over 50 million pounds to get it done so it is understood the move is not not dependent on Pog, paul pogba leaving old trafford so he is a more or less you can say fellaini especially herrera upgrade or replacement but anyway guys this is the article from uh, the independent so far which happened a few hours ago um it looks like we are according to the article and according to what we're seeing we are taking our time in the transfer first of all secondly we are haggling clearly we're haggling if we give them 50 55 maybe 60 million pound do an add-on deal um we will we will definitely net him he's a world-class player he's a class player we all know that i'm not going to go too depth into it but um what's frustrating for me is that it's taking too long for us to negotiate we all know we are interested in him it's, it's as simple as that although not official words came out but every single outlet is reporting the fact and even from portuguese press as well reporting the fact that we are interested in him it's just a matter of us agreeing a fee and i believe we are doing deals one at a time so harry uh, there's reports coming out that after harry Maguire's potential deal to us we will focus on bruno fernandez i don't understand we are one of the biggest club in, clubs in the world with the biggest infrastructure one of the biggest infrastructure one of the biggest resources yet we're doing one deal at a time i mean i can do that in my job simple as that it's as simple as that so i don't understand this particular situation and the second most exciting thing is that he is it is understood that according to the article that it is not dependent on paul pogba leaving which means that we can potentially if paul pogba decides to stay we can potentially have pogba and fernandez in the same team what a fantastic lineup that will be that will be an attacking midfielders midfielders dream cut in the current state for us certainly we will be already we're sorting out the defense and 
to sign Bruno Fernandes, who can potentially play next to Paul Pogba. <laughs> that that looks tasty. That look that sounds tasty, and uh, you know, going forward will be absolutely devastating. We just need a proper CDM, which I believe we need. You know, uh, <laughs> McTominay is not gonna be the best of players shielding our back four. But anyway, anyway, guys, this is a bit of an update on Bruno Fernandes. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you really think we're actually gonna sign him, or is it the fact that? the club or the agent is going around touting other clubs bringing his price up getting him into the media spotlight you know whatever i don't know uh but let me know your thoughts in the comments below get involved guys the second bit of news from back at back end of what i was reporting yesterday in regards to harry Maguire's transfer we all know pt much a lot of people have been reporting a lot of news outlets have been reporting that we have agreed a fee of 60 million pound up front with 20 million pound fee add-on however there's been a bit of a news with various reporters saying that can confirm Harry Moga has told you know Leicester City management and players he wants to pursue a move to MUFC or MCFC, which is Manchester United and Man City, if the valuation 80 to 90 million pound is met. So Leicester do expect him to be professional, and you can see that he has been professional. He wants to move clearly uh, according to various outlets and reports. So, and, and again, nothing is confirmed, but we can only go through what we are listening to. So you know, I'm bringing you guys this information. However only if 80 to 90 million pound valuation is met now 80 million pound is met you know you can say that because you got according to report 60 million pound plus 20 million pound add-on is 80 million pound isn't it is, is, isn't that how it works so if it is met uh fantastic we we we're bish bosh bash we're done and it will be fantastic to see harry Maguire. now there were reports and a lot of reports going around the press that he is due for medical today now obviously this is contradiction uh, whether they've agreed the fee earlier on whether they agreed the contract you know the contract not the fee whether they agreed the contract and it's just a matter of getting the fee resolved but while that is happening get him into uh, the medical center do some medical etc etc i don't know but anyway you you guys know my thoughts on harry Maguire, and um he's gonna be a fantastic signing for us i believe um he's definitely going to be improving our defense in his current state a lot of these players, it look, our defense now looks formidable. If we sign Harry Maguire, you got uh, Lindelof, Harry Maguire uh, in centre back position on the flanks. You got uh, Aaron Wan Bissaka and Luke Shaw. That immediately looks better than Lindelof, Small, Jolly Jones, Ashley Young, and Luke Shaw. Come on, come on, guys, come on. And behind him, you got De Gea. We just need a proper CDM, a proper mobile CDM, and our defense is sorted. You know, our defense, no, you're not scoring past that defense easily as much as you would have done over the last, certainly in the last season. But this is a little bit of upgrade on Harry Maguire. John Percy is pretty reliable. So you, you can say that, you know, it's not coming from the sun or whatever. It's coming from a reliable source. Obviously, there is no 100% connection. But I do believe that we have been interested in, in him and Bruno Fernandes for a long time. It's just a matter of getting, getting it done. And... Harry Maguire and Bruno Fernandes will improve us. It's just Edward Ward is taking too long to make these deals happen. As I said before, guys, we are one of the biggest clubs in the world. We have a huge infrastructure. We have huge resources. How the hell are we doing one deal at a time? It, it's, it baffles me. It absolutely baffles me. You know, this being the most one of the most important uh, transfer windows in, in recent times. It's, it's baffling. It's, it's absolutely baffling. I think, well, I know, we all know, you know, let's, let's not be around the bushes, that Woodward is penny pinching. He's clearly penny pinching. He's, he's, he's going in with a, you know, low ball offer, then that's what I think. Going with a low, like 40 million pound offer, they reject it. They say 50, 60 million pounds. Okay, let's, let's, let's do like 50 million pounds plus 10 million pounds. I don't know, they reject it. So, okay, let's do like 45 million pounds plus 50 million pounds. I don't know, or 55 million pounds plus 5 million pounds. I don't know, bish, bosh, bash, done. That's what he's doing. Just go up and straight up give the cash, man. Give the cash. You're clearly gonna sell some assets. Clearly, no, we're not making money. We didn't. We we barely spent last season. Where's all the cash gone from last season? Where's where's all the all this financial strength that we've been known to believe? That's 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 my biggest pro problem at the moment. But I do genuinely believe that both of these players will will be signing, and hopefully, people like Longstaff and Lemina, with all due respect, they are not quality. Come on, they are okay. They are okay players, but for us to break through to, into the top four, especially if Arsenal are having a disastrous transfer and Chelsea can't even make transfers, this is our best chance, an easy route in into the top four. 
forget the top two. It's going to be Man City and Liverpool between them two. You know, they, they, they'll be years ahead of us. But at least the top four, that's our aim. We should be back into the Champions League attracting players yet again. And if Chelsea and Arsenal are not strengthening, Wood was probably thinking, hang on, we don't need to spend that much. These guys are cannot strengthen. They, they haven't got the finances. We just have to add bits and bobs and, you know, you know, just fly through and we will be fine. No, no. You can never take anyone for granted. It's simple as that. Simple as that. We had a disastrous end to the last season. Imagine another, another few, you know, it's so competitive in the top four. Spurs are going to be there. You know, I reckon they're going to be finished there. They're going to finish third, but what position is still up for grabs? And I think we can solidify it if we sign these two players nice and early. Three weeks wait for, say, Bruno Fernandes is not acceptable. What, you're going to get him in the last day of the transfer window or a week to go? What? He can't play for another couple of weeks after that because he needs to get into the team, gel into the team, right? Get his fitness levels going, you know? Harry Maguire, get him in, man. This is, this is the week. It's Monday already. Where's, where's the medical that we've been talking about? Where is it? Just get him in ASAP. But anyways guys, if you're a new subscriber to the channel, make sure you smash the sub button to stay up to date with the latest Manchester, Manchester United transfer news on a daily basis. And if you're a returning subscriber, make sure you smash the like button. And as always, for both the parties, if you feel like you need to dislike, go ahead. You know, let me know in the comments below as to why. And you know, I'm happy to take criticism. That's how it works with me in my channel. I, I don't shy away. You know, I understand I can't please everyone, but hey, it is what it is. But anyways guys. I hope to bring you guys more news as, as things uh, develop uh, whenever it may be. But other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next upload.